things you do because you are afraid of heartbreak. Anyone who has experienced a breakup understands how painful and distressing it can be. It also requires a great deal of courage to put yourself back out there and start dating again. Heartbreak deeply impacts us and often leads us to take measures to safeguard our hearts. Often, these protective actions occur subconsciously, even before we fully understand the reasons behind them. This response is natural, as we aim to shield ourselves from further hurt. Here's a look at some behaviors that stem from a fear of heartbreak. 1. Being emotionally unavailable. Even when you meet someone you're interested in, things often don't work out for various reasons, mainly because you're emotionally unavailable or reluctant to commit. The idea of forever feels foreign to you at the moment, and you're too afraid to begin something that could potentially last. 2. You need constant validation. When you fear heartbreak or rejection, you may feel a strong urge to seek validation on nearly everything. Whether it's decisions about food or fashion, you constantly need approval from others. You might also find yourself apologizing for things that others wouldn't typically need an apology for. 3. You want everything to be perfect. Due to your fear of heartbreak, you won't settle for anything less than perfect. This mindset arises from the belief that love must be flawless, a notion that developed after a previous relationship ended. You start to think that the end of your past relationship was due to its imperfections. 4. Playing off the pain as a joke. Often, those who endure significant personal struggles have the best sense of humor. They believe that laughter can help them cope with their pain, but this relief is typically fleeting and only lasts for a short time. 5. Giving your all to that which you know is temporary. Following a heartbreak, you tend to invest deeply in the few remaining aspects of your life, such as a person, job, or place. You may develop strong attachments to these as you would to a person, driven by a reluctance to face another emotional setback. What happens when you live with an insecure husband? Marriage relies on trust, compatibility, and understanding. No one enters a marriage expecting it to be difficult or to fail. However, if the other person makes the marriage challenging, it can be problematic. Different people have varying expectations from their partners, and unmet expectations can lead to conflicts, insecurity, feeling overlooked, and dissatisfaction. To shed more light on this, let's explore what happens when you live with an insecure husband. 1. Your motives are always questioned. Even though you diligently manage your family responsibilities while balancing your work, he still finds reasons to question your motives. An insecure husband frequently doubts every action you take, regardless of how much effort you put into keeping everyone content. 2. He keeps score. If your husband constantly remembers the times you went out with friends or visited your parents, it indicates insecurity. He frequently compares how often you went out with how many times he did, as if he's seeking some form of retribution because you had more outings than he did. 3. As per him, you always have a hidden agenda. Being married to an insecure man often means dealing with numerous unfounded doubts and accusations. He may believe that your actions are motivated by a desire to get something from him. This toxic behavior can severely damage the relationship. 4. There is more arguing than problem solving. Whenever you bring up an issue concerning him that has been bothering you and seek to resolve it, your insecure husband often uses the opportunity to argue and belittle you. He repeatedly emphasizes his point, regardless of your efforts to find a solution. 5. He wants to know about your every text and conversation. With an insecure husband, you'll often find that even before you finished a single sentence on a phone call, he insists on knowing who you're speaking with. The same level of scrutiny applies to your messages as well. 6. He is jealous of your close friends. Being married to an insecure husband involves constantly reassuring him that you prioritize him above everyone else. Despite reducing the time you spend with friends and limiting your conversations and texting with them, he still argues and insists that you're spending too much time with them. Ways to cope with anxiety after husband's affair. 
Uncovering an affair typically leads to various issues for spouses, such as shock, anger, nightmares, diminished self-esteem, and reduced self-confidence. Research shows that the psychological impact of extramarital affairs includes intense guilt or depression for the person who committed the infidelity, profound distress for the betrayed partner, potential marriage breakdown, and unhappiness for the children involved. If you're a woman who has just learned of your husband's affair, here are some strategies to help you manage the inevitable anxiety that follows. 1. Make peace with where your relationship is going. Once some time has passed and your anxiety has eased a bit, take a moment to give yourself peace of mind by determining the future of your relationship. It's up to you to decide whether to end the relationship or pursue counseling and work through the infidelity. 2. Have a solid support system. Reach out to trusted friends and family for support. If you're dealing with anxiety following infidelity, having a strong support system is crucial. Connecting with others and having someone who genuinely listens to your concerns can be profoundly therapeutic. 3. Give yourself time. If you've recently discovered your husband's affair, the wisest course of action is to allow yourself time to grieve. This may signal the end of your previous relationship, and it's entirely normal to need time to mourn. Overcoming anxiety after an affair is challenging and often requires time to process and heal. 4. Create and stick to a routine. Maintaining and adhering to a routine is crucial for managing anxiety after discovering your husband's affair. A structured routine can help bring order to your life when everything else feels chaotic. 5. Be patient. Emotional anxiety following your husband's affair can be deeply troubling and upsetting. Healing from the emotional trauma of infidelity takes time, but remember that this too shall pass. Be patient, as the anxiety from your husband's affair will not last forever. 6. Try to focus on good things. Counter emotional anxiety by concentrating on the positive aspects of your life. Pay attention to your health, the love of friends and family, and the small joys that bring you happiness. Give yourself the opportunity to envision a bright future and imagine the best possible outcomes. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.